Hey there everyone, Steve Gonzer, physical therapist with Run Smart Online. Um, I want to talk to you guys today about uh, something that you can do to get free speed. Hopefully I, you guys can see this. I don't know if I'm in frame right now, but um, I'm going to talk to you guys about free speed. and How can you actually leverage your run form so that you can run faster without having to use more energy? And it's, it's actually just an anatomical principle um, that I want to talk about. But the big thing to, to face with right now is that when someone runs and they tend to heel strike, let's just talk about that real quick. They put the foot out front and they, what I call tap the brakes, it's like driving your car and just hitting the brakes. They hit with their heel first and a straight knee. Now that's essentially a battering ram coming into the ground and with all the weight sitting behind the leg, it makes it very difficult. For example, if I'm here, I lift up my back leg, I fall backwards, it makes it very difficult to go up and over that leg. So it's like you're, again, tapping the brakes, slowing down. So when you run with a big old heel strike and you come into contact with the ground heel first, you actually are just using your muscles. I want to teach you how to use your muscles and your tendons, which are like the rubber bands of your body. If you're looking for more information about this, you think it's cool, uh, check out the link in the post and you can actually uh, look at some of the training that we have coming up uh, later this, uh, uh, start of next month. So what I want to teach you is, and what you really should be trying to do when you're running, is taking this big heel strike, straight knee, entering the ground, and learning how to land with not the heel leading, but a nice relatively flat foot and the shin to be vertical. Now inside your body you have muscles and tendons. Those are the things that uh, allow you to move. The muscles pull on the tendons and they push you down the road. But the muscles and tendons have something called elasticity, which is kind of like rubber bands. So if you can teach yourself to land and load the rubber band, what happens? It's kind of similar just to something like this. So as you land and as you go towards push off, you're gonna be stretching the rubber band, right? And as you stretch that rubber band, you're gonna let go at push off and it's gonna throw you down the road. Now here's the cool thing about this rubber band model. When you pull and stretch on the muscles, it's a part of the muscles that doesn't cost you any energy, it is free. Meaning that you don't have to burn any calories for it, you just have a natural recoil or rubber band in your muscles. So when you heel strike, you're landing pretty much all through the bones and when you start to think about improving your run form, the first place I always like to start is that midfoot landing. You load the rubber band and you push it off and you explode that force into the ground and it pushes you down the road. Now there's a lot of benefits to learning how to midfoot strike. Uh, number one is injury prevention. So if we look at someone landing and they come in heel first, there's a lot of impact force to the knee. I've talked about this quite a bit. And that impact force can really ratchet up some crankiness or stiffness in the knee. So if you're someone that's dealing with that, midfoot strike is, is an awesome thing to consider. The second thing is running faster. It is very difficult to run down the road when by the time you push off on this foot, you're stopping on the other one. And then you have to go through that whole cycle, push off on the other one and stop on the left. So from a speed standpoint, not only are you going to be breaking less, but you're also going to be using the natural recoil or the natural rubber band in your muscles. It is literally free speed. If you're interested in learning more about this and how you can run midfoot, check out the link, uh, link in this post. We're going to be running a five-week course where we walk you through and hold your hand on exactly how to do it so that you don't end up getting hurt, you don't end up overshooting, which a lot of people do, and run on their toes, um, and you can get away from a heel strike so you can continue to run for the next 5, 10, and 15 years. If anyone could, uh, if you're still watching, uh, go ahead and just type in midfootproject.com in the, in the link or in the comments so someone can um, know what that is. I'm not going to be in front of my phone here. So uh, midfootproject.com, if you want to check that out, um, is a huge boost to your running when you can realize that, hey, there is a right and a wrong way to run. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.